Great to have you join us once again this week. Last Sunday we started a topic, a new theme, a new focus called There is a Reason and a Season. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you that over these next few moments we'll take some time to listen, we'll take time to consider your word. Father God, come and speak to our lives. Address us where we are at today. Take my words, Lord. May they encourage and inspire and may they be from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who've been called according to his purposes. There is a reason and a season. Through the redemptive lens of the activity of God in your life, there is nothing that has happened to you, will happen to you, is going to happen to you, that is not beyond his redemptive touch and power. So when something shifts suddenly in your life, you may think that God has forgotten you. You may ask the question, God, where are you? God, can't you see what's happening? So what am I to do now, God? Maybe there's been sickness. Maybe you've lost your job. Maybe there's been things that have happened that have been very unexpected. And so you wonder where God is. But he is there. For many of us, it may have been a negative or an unpleasant experience. When something leaves your life, there is still a sense of of loss. Even if it wasn't that positive, it may still hurt to let it go. The interesting thing about Acts chapter 1, Jesus is giving the disciples a gift. But in order then for them to receive this gift, Jesus has to remove himself. If he stays in his physical form, they will be limited to his physical body. I'm so thankful that he gave us John 16, 7 before we experience Acts chapter 1, 8 and 9. John 16, 7 says, But very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Acts 1, 8 and 9. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before them, before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. I know you're distressed. I know you're sad. But it's for your good that I'm going away, said Jesus. I don't understand, Jesus. How can it be good if you go away? We followed you. We trusted you. We gave up so much for you, Jesus. No, 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 no. I, I'm not leaving you. I'm just changing forms. Up until now, I have walked with you. But when I send my spirit, I will be in you. So I'm not leaving you. I'm just changing locations. I'm not walking away. I'm just at work. In this season for a reason. God has chosen you. 
and set you apart. Because if I go, I can send you my spirit. God has and is sending us something greater. And we need to receive that gift. Receive his gift. I don't know about you, but I get annoyed when people don't respond the way I expect them to. Or the way I think they should. Does that bother anyone else? Or maybe it's just me. Sometimes we need to just let things go. Let people have their say. Do their own thing. Make some space. Make some room. Be more accommodating, possibly. Throughout this season, it has been very clear to us all. What's important and what is not. We have learned to appreciate the simpler things in life. To value time together, to value one another, to connect in new ways. We've all missed out on different things, I'm sure. Maybe over your life, you've suffered rejection. Maybe you've suffered hurt. And nowadays it's hard to receive love from others and love and acceptance from God. Be a person of thankfulness. Be a person of thankfulness. Give it and receive it. Don't reject God. Don't reject his gifts. Don't reject him. There's a phrase we read in the Gospels regarding Jesus. He had to go through Samaria. It's in John chapter 4. Now the Samaritans hated the Jews and the Jews hated the Samaritans. We've had Nicodemus, we've had John 3, 16. The Jewish people would walk around Samaria, even though it had hours to their trip, to avoid interaction with them, to avoid going through this place. But Jesus decided to go through Samaria. And he encountered a woman, which in many ways was very scandalous. She was also surprised. Why are you talking to me? Why are you dealing with me? Why are you giving me the time of day? The woman said. One, I'm a woman. Two, I'm a Samaritan. What are you doing here, Jesus? Jesus needed to be there because he needed her to go and preach. To go and be his witness. She came to get water and she left with living water and took that living water back to her community. Which is a picture of what Jesus is wanting his disciples to do. The gospel needs to go through that place that you want to avoid. The people you despise. For we're coming into a new season. Hear it. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. We all have some area, Samaria, in our life. It might be traumatic. It might be tradition, it might be an attitude, but we all have some areas in our life. It's there. What are we avoiding? What are we walking around? That place you don't want to go. That place you don't want to go because it's hurtful. That place you don't want to go because it's hard, physically, mentally, emotionally. What is your Samaria? 
What is your area? That place in your life that is hard to go to. Where there has been failure, where there has been hurt, where there has been rejection, where there has been disappointment. That place that makes you feel unworthy and you think that God won't love you. You may look great on the outside. You, people may think, hey, you have it all together. But we all have some area, every one of us. If we peel back the plastic, there it is. And that's what the gospel of Jesus Christ must go through in our lives to have the full effect. We need to let God work through every area of our life. Not just the places that are comfortable and well presented. Not the obvious or the things that will earn us brownie points. But the places in our lives that we are most resistant to change. That is where God wants to live. That is what God wants to transform. But you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Acts 1.8 Power, power. The Holy Spirit comes on you and lives in you. Friends, God is more than enough. God is more than enough. For he, for he is our hope and he is our provider. In every season, in every situation we face. Those hard places, those hard things you face. Those things you hang on so tightly to. It's time to open your hands and receive his gift. Receive his righteousness. You may not know the time, you may not know the plan, but you will receive power and provision from God. We need to adapt, we need to change. Jesus told them that you will be my witnesses. Hey Jesus, when are you going to do the things we want you to do? Jesus, you need to fix them and sort them out. Jesus didn't give them something to do. He gave them something to be. And he calls us and draws us. Be a witness. Be a witness. You will be. It's not an activity, but it's about being what God has called you to be. In the absence of answers, faith is born. When we don't have what we need, the grace of God comes in and fills in the gaps and makes a way when there seems to be no way. Jesus, Jesus wasn't leaving them. He was indwelling them, just changing locations and form. For three years, they had Jesus with them and now they had to work out what they were going to do in his absence. But they were not alone and they were not left floundering because the Holy Spirit of God, the very presence of Jesus, was coming in a new form and in a new way. His way. Today, let Jesus bring you wholeness and purpose. God is still with us. It just seems a bit different in this season. And that's okay. We are just taking a different road. But it's the same destination. Acts 1.9 After he had said this, he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him 
from their sight. May God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you want to send us a comment, if you have a need, please contact us. We'd love to help you and support you. There is a reason and a season. Amen.